Hey, this is Mr. Masonette. And what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to take a pair of similar objects and find the scale factor between those objects. And once we find the scale factor of those similar objects, we're going to determine the unknown length of various line segments. So let's go ahead and get started. So this problem reads that the figures below are similar figures. If the length of AB is 10 centimeters, find the length of line segments JK and LK. So what we're going to do is we are going to label line segment AB right here 10 centimeters because we know by the information given in the problem. Also, we can use the grid lines to see that this line is actually 10 centimeters because this diagram is drawn to scale. So if we start here at the bottom, which is zero, and go to here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And what we have to do based off of that information is determine the length of line segment JK, which is right here, and line segment LK, which is right here. Now, if we take a look at line segment JK and just do an estimation really quick, I can see that it is longer than one unit. It looks like it's kind of close to two, but maybe less than two. So I'm going to estimate that it is like one point something. And for line segment LK, if we started here, we go up one, two, three, four, but a little bit bigger than four, maybe 4.2, 4.3 or something like that. But we have to determine the exact length of each one of these line segments. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is using this given information of 10 centimeters, I'm going to find its corresponding side, which is line segment GH over here. And we can see that the length of GH is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now what we can do is use these corresponding sides to determine the scale factor of these objects. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this 6 and I am going to divide it by 10. Now because this 6 is the length of this side of the green object, I'm just going to put a G up here just to represent that this length of 6 is part of the green object. And then for this 10 here, I'm going to put a Y for yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to set that equal to another set of corresponding sides. And because I put the green on the top over here, I'm going to do the same thing over here and put yellow on the bottom. Now the line segment in question that we're going to look for first is JK, which is right here. And I'm going to go over to the yellow object and find its corresponding line segment, which is right here. And we can see that it has a length of one, two, three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a three right here on the bottom. Because I put yellow on the bottom over here, we have to put yellow on the bottom over here. Now what we have done is we have set up a proportion which will allow us to solve for this unknown value, which will be the length of line segment JK. And let's just use an X right there. Okay, now that our proportion is set up, what we're going to do first is cross multiply with our variable. So we are going to write that as a product, 10 times X. And we know that when we cross multiply in both directions, the products are going to be equal to each other. So the product of 10 and X is going to be equal to the product of 6 and 3, which is 18. And now all we have to do is solve for X. And to do this, we are going to do the opposite of multiplying X by 10, which is to divide by 10. So essentially, we are just dividing the coefficient by itself. And what we do to one side of our equation, we do to the other side. So these 10s cancel out, leaving us with X equals 18 divided by 10. Now, I could quickly reduce this fraction, which would be 9 fifths. And then I could express that as a mixed number, which would be 1 and 4 fifths. Or what we could do is we could express this as a decimal. And 1 and 4 fifths is equal to 1.8. So the distance of line segment JK down here is 1.8. All right, now let's go ahead and determine the length of line segment LK. All right, to determine the length of line segment LK, I'm going to use the same scale factor that we did for finding JK. 
and that is for every six units of green, the length of the yellow will be 10 units. And we could actually reduce this if we wanted to, to be three over five. I'm not so worried about that right now. And what we have to do is go down to line segment LK and see what its corresponding side is. And we would say that this side here corresponds to that side. And this side is easy to calculate because it lines up perfectly with the grid line. So if we start here at zero, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the length of EF over here is seven, and that's part of our yellow object. So we have to put that on the bottom. And to find the length of LK, which is part of the green object, we have to now solve for X. So we're going to start by cross multiplying 10 and X. And that will be equal to the product of 6 and 7, which is 42. And we divide both sides by 10. And whenever you divide by 10, you can take what you are dividing and just move the decimal point one space to the left. So if we place a decimal point at the end of 42 and move it one space to the left, that would give us 4.2. Now, if we wanted to express this as a fractional value, then x would be equal to 4 and 1 fifth. Now, we can see that this answer makes sense because if we go to line segment LK right here and we start at the bottom, we can see from here to here is 1, and then 2, and 3, and then 4. And we have a distance that goes a little bit beyond 4. So 4.2 would make sense in this case. All right, now another strategy that we could have used in this situation is we could have taken this fraction, 6 over 10, and we could have expressed this as a percentage. And what we could say with that percentage is that all of the side lengths of this green figure here are going to be 60% of what they were compared to the yellow figure. So with that being said, when we found line segment JK, we could have went to its corresponding side on the yellow figure, DE, and we could have taken that value, which is 3, and we can multiply that by 60%, expressed as a decimal. Because 60% of 3 will tell you what this line segment is, because we know every corresponding side of the green figure will be 60% of its corresponding side from the yellow figure. So this line segment right here will be 60% of 3. And when we multiply 0 0.6 and 3 together, we get 1.8. And for line segment LK, it will be 60% of line segment EF. And we know that EF is 7, so we can take 60% of 7, and that would give us 4.2. So when finding the unknown length of similar figures, you have to start by determining the scale factor. And then from there, you can set up a proportion to solve, or you can solve by using percentages. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.